What's up, guys? It's me, Boy K. Wilson. We are back again with another video. And as you can tell by the title, you know exactly what we're going to be talking about. Um, you guys that know, well, you guys should know by now, I have a very hectic tournament schedule, like traveling schedule. Like, I'm literally leaving tomorrow to go to Brussels Challenge for the weekend. A uh, challenger event happening in Brussels, funny enough. Um, so I'm trying not to waste any time. We're going to get into it immediately. I wanted to make sure I get at least this video done before I leave. Because I know how much people are going to want me to talk about this, the game versus Arsenal um yeah i want to make sure to give the people what what they want before i leave because i don't my upload schedule is going to be a mess moving forward so the very least if i can get this guys this, get this to you for you guys i think i've done all right job anyway let's get into it wasting no time one last thing before we begin i guess let's do the build up to the game uh well not the build up but basically my, my thoughts going into the game uh first and foremost um during the set uk versus pakistan um i made a bad call um, as captain of the team uh, the way we wanted our team set up we wanted Gosain to play Khan uh, we wanted me to play Atif and we wanted Joker to play Arslan and that's how we wanted it to go um, and earlier so earlier this morning the morning of this this match we were, as a team we were eating breakfast and then uh, we were sitting down in in the area like we were eating our breakfast whatever then Arslan came over and, and he sat by us and he was like so who are you guys going to send last and we was just joking oh, I don't know, duh, 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 duh. then Arslan just goes Artif will go last. He said said that straight up to us. Artif will go last, I think. You know, we were just like, oh, oh, damn. Um, and then later on, I was talking to Arsene as he was coming down to get to the shuttle to go to the venue. And he was like, um, he was saying, yeah, we're pretty sure Artif will go last. Um, and then he was talking to me and he was like, he was like, so how are you good against Akuma? Like, how are you so good against Akuma? Like, you know, what did you, you know, like it, just having a conversation about that, right? Um, and then all of that psyched me out. Um, I was sitting there thinking, okay, they're not going to send Atif last. They, for some reason, they want me to go last. They have something ready for me for me last. So I think I should go in the middle and Joker should go last. That was the plan because very clearly they, they, they were setting it up like they wanted me to go last for some reason to play Atif because I almost beat him in the finals. So um, yeah, it turned out Arsenal was just telling the truth. Uh, he literally just came up to us like, yep, Atif will go last. That's the truth. Goodbye. Um, so yeah. Uh, so it ended up being me versus Arslan. So I made a misplay um, as captain here. But anyway, we, we know how it ended. But let's get into it uh, right now. I probably like will leave a timestamp so people who didn't want to hear that build up beforehand will just be able to get right into the gameplay right here. But this is a match I've been expecting for a long time. Like Ars if you guys don't know, Arslan actually has been in my path for a lot of tournaments. Um, and I've just managed to lose before I've got to him. Uh, Comma Breaker 2022. CEO 2021 uh the first thing that come to my mind and we did talk i have talked to Arsene many times about you know he's always said like oh you know i've been preparing to play against you da, 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 whatever like you know i've been kind of worried about playing you but then you lost so whatever so that's the kind of conversation you've had so i knew going into this that um i was good like i've been saying for years i if you want to be the best you got to beat the best and i've always believed i could beat the best with you know i've always believed it was possible um so this matchup is not good as well. Like Quarren versus Kinimitsu is really annoying. Like it's really annoying as a matchup. Kinimitsu's backdash can be really annoying in this matchup. And just the way she can play small Tekken can really frustrate um, Quarren. But my entire, the, the thing I said to them, my entire team the entire week, and I say to myself, was keep playing your game until they force you to stop. That was literally it. That's the number one thing, you know. Like we do what got you to the dance. Like we got here because of how good we are and what we've been able to do. So let's just keep doing what we've been doing. Um, the first thing there is something. Spag actually mentioned this in the analysis about like my philosophy when it comes to uh, certain things. So here, the first time he did downfield one three, I ducked it. I should have had a bigger punish here. Um, What's weird? I was labbing Kinimitsu this morning. Weirdly enough, I was expecting to play Artif, but I was like, just in case I have to, I was labbing some Kinimitsu stuff. Um, but it wasn't I, it's stuff I really knew anyway. I was just making sure I could do do things. Um, so Kinemitsu has down forward one two one, or is it one two one plus two? I think, which is the mid mid mid, and she has down forward one three, the mid high you see there. Um, if she hits, if she goes for down forward one two and the last hit, it's not natural unless it's counter hit. But here, the down forward one three, you can duck it and you get a good punisher. You should get a launch. I didn't launch it here. Um, I think there's no reason not to duck after down, Kinemitsu down forward one because the, the mids are not natural. So if you duck, you just get hit by the second second poke and that's whatever. But here, if you duck, you can launch. So that's sort of like my philosophy of a lot of things with like the same way I think about Zafina as well in a certain um, other characters when it comes to it. 
But that this is something uh, my team noticed earlier on as well. And they came up to me and said this, and I realized it as well. Is in a lot of situations I was in RFF, uh, Arsene was dick jabbing or jabbing a lot to sort of bait the backlash. You know, because if I if I did backlash, if I did backlash, um, he can react, duck, and punish. Um, but if if I didn't, it was just like a little jab. It wasn't really anything that bad. But there, K was down forward two into a rage out. Now, this was probably the least nervous I was the entire weekend, I think. Um, I think the most nervous I was was actually the first game that we played against Ivory Coast because it's just our first game, you know, realizing that we were out here and stuff like that. But here, I know I was very calm. I was there. And that's one thing I made sure as well, is like, which way to step Kunimitsu's uh, down forward one. You go to the right. And you'll see I get a big payoff on this later on, stepping Kunimitsu's down forward one. I get a bigger payoff later on. But here, I'd like to say shouts to Sync. Sync is someone who showed me that first. The down back four into the two three. That shit is broken. Uh shouts to Sync for that one. I got I I got that because of him. Again, jab. That was good there. Jab to react to the backlash and then duck. So I knew I knew from now I needed to chill on it, but you, I I made sure to adapt with it as well. There I'm ducking set. I just threw it out. That was weird. And there, step on the step on the peacekeeper there. There's there was a lot of things that me, it's it's a good thing I had my team behind me as well. Um, but me and my team picked up on like the stuff like the forward forward fours, like the way he was trying backlash. There's very good to duck. Um the two two two. Got it there. Could there's a lot of stuff I could have had bigger punishes on, but in general, I think throughout the entire week I was doing a lot of while sending four four. Because I like to see how people react to while sending four four on here. Because I'd seen the way Arsene reacted to it so many times, I was very confident here to get my counter for it, right? Which is more damage than if I did a while standing three into, into a back three flip over. This is more damage. I have a plus frame situation, dash into a forward four three. Um, so yeah, I like to see how people react to while standing four four. And Arsam was giving me the reactions that I wanted. So throughout the rest of this, I had fun. And again, I'm ducking, I'm ducking set pretty consistently. Um, I think when it comes to Kunimitsu's set, there's no reason not to duck it because the low, is count hit launcher but launch punishable and like, all the mids don't really do anything so i'm not really like worried about it i tried to rage out again because i'm cheeky um but yeah the mids don't really do anything so it's like unless they count hits so there's no reason not to duck set in my opinion and punish that again like i'm just i'm just taking my plus frames now after while sending 4 4. yeah the rff plasma blade could have had a bit more wall carry there but it's fine down my four keep him at the wall Again, I knew he loved to dick jab. So that was another situation there. I think this is a matchup Arsene doesn't have a lot of experience in. So I swear I ducked that, by the way. I swear I ducked that. I swear I did. But I guess the game doesn't lie. How did he try it? Down back three, yeah. Just the timing on the low there. Sh I should have done down back four, to be honest. That would have been a lot more safe to do. No punish on that as well. That was weird for me. But that was nice step. There were a lot of things I was a bit iffy on. I should have dashed up into back three there, actually. I should have known because the wall was right there and the wall can make that a bit iffy. But he, he rolled the right way, but I should have known. Big sweep. I think that was the first sweep of the set, no? Wow, I did a final round first game. Oh my god. There, I tried to I tried to down four two to interrupt him there. But that was bad for me. No punish that time. Back three three. Rage available. See, I, I did what he'd been doing to me, right? So I decided to just check with a jab with a down forward one, see what happened. Luckily, he power crushed. I got the, I got, and I gave me the game winning interaction. Rage drive, down back four. And here, I think this was a punish, actually. I think he couldn't have blocked that. I'm pretty sure this was a punish because by the time the down back four recovered, even though he went to the side, I think by the time he's landed, I think think this was a punish i think so um yeah i i did risk it by go by going for quite a few lows in that but like arson clearly did not want to take a mix there so he decided to just jump away instead of playing the game so i'll take it and yeah all the stuff they were telling me was literally stuff i'd picked up on and pretty much knew myself anyway it was just stuff like um the be careful with the peacekeepers forward forward four no more backlash or just change when i'm doing backlash i was doing a lot of situations where i was plus just like change change that um and yeah just just the same stuff like that as well
you know. Yeah, the, you can see Joker do this. That was him saying no more backlash. That was him saying no more backlash. <laughs> no more backlash. And we were thinking as well, there's a chance he could go to Zafino. Um, I feel like I would have preferred that. I can't lie. As much as I hate both characters, they're both bad matchups. I feel like I would have preferred Zafino. So I was kind of hoping he would. But he just believed in the infinite stage, believed in the Kunimitsu. And I was like, okay. On her mother's name. Again, I was just focusing more on taking my plus frames in this situation. Like, I was up in the set. I knew I had a game to play with. Like, to me, there was, like, very little pressure in this game. Because I knew... Bro, I don't lose on Island Paradise. I rarely lose on Island Paradise. So, even if I lost this on the infinite stage, there. I mentioned it earlier. You sidestep right the downfall one, and I cashed out on it later on. Like, three. Nice combo. Like, turn. I'm surprised that reached, by the way. Normally, I'm very good at spacing that, but I guess Kidmits is a character I don't play against as much to see the spacing, but forward two has a lot of range, and more Kidmits players need to use that shit to punish. Two, two. Hard duck. I made sure to do a lot of lows to set up this hard duck, then we stomp in his head as well afterwards. Now, before. Actually, was very good there, to be honest. Like, I think I think one thing a lot of players have scouted about me now is because Book did the same thing, John Ding did the same thing about, uh, at the finals, is I do a lot of down 3-4 into switch stance. And I think that's something I guess I must be known for now because so many players, when I play against them first time, are so ready for the switch stance. Now, Book was ready. John Ding at the finals. Arsenash here. Um, I, Nobi as well. Is that I guess it's something that I'm just known for now as my phone is ringing. It was my little sister, not important. Um, but yeah, it's very much like people are so ready for it now. And you can see Arsen was ready for it there. So but again, down three, four. He wasn't ready that time. Because I, I decided to I decided to go for uh, the low instead there. Because if he did try and go for back two again, it would have counted hit. It would have counted hit and knocked down for the situation there. So that was just like my little mini adjustment in that moment there. That was a failed backlash there, by the way, that down forward four. Like and, and that time I did up forward four because I was like, okay, he's probably gonna mash again this time. He's probably expecting low. He's probably gonna hop kick. So even if he does, he can't get a big payoff of it. Like I was just doing shit this game. I'm gonna be so real. I was just doing shit. Like I just feel like I had he dig jab there as well. He would have been dead if I if I take my plus frames there, but it's fine. Man, he was panicking. He was panicking. Stomp. It's important to not get ahead of yourselves in, in yourself in this situation. Like just as fast as things come, they can go. I don't think a single skyrocket hit him as well. Yeah, he just he just he just caught my timing there. Messed up the combo though, so I'll take it. Yeah. There were a lot of times he put me in full crowd situations, stuff like that, and always did the low. So I was like, let me just cash out. Let me just see. No brick on the throw. But I was like, let me throw him back. I was like, let me just throw him back. Revenge. Also, this isn't a mix-up. You can just get up, but I guess some people aren't don't know. Yeah, again. He was really catching me coming in with a lot of uh launches. I really thought he would have gone low there into the back turn i think it's down to i really thought that's what he was going for there again plus frames but i didn't i didn't believe he'd do it again so i was trying to i was trying to mess him up there i thought he would block the down forward four and then people love to duck in the situation would have had a launch there i did have my counter here didn't confirm i mean you can't you can't even really twitch to confirm it so it is what it is just sweep him again yeah, the set. It is my. It is that's just my philosophy. You got you got a duck set. You have to duck set, and you have to win the game. 2-0. Uh, bro, I I look like some kind of killer, bro. I look I look angry. It looks like I lost. Why? <laughs> the shrug as well, man. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy as well. I think, I don't think the camera's picked it up, but I can, 
if, it, if the cameras didn't pick up i'll just tell you guys what happened but i don't think the cameras picked it up they didn't okay unless the switch is back no the cameras didn't pick up okay <laughs> so there's a few things um one i think my like pop off there was more of a because i got someone like say some shit on twitter it was like kwish needs to be more respectful like he's shrugging at the crowd because they weren't supporting him first and foremost when you have those headphones on you cannot hear shit by the way like they are very good at cancelling out uh cancelling out the noise around you um so you couldn't hear shit however the crowd was very supportive of me like when i when i did take the headphones off and people were chanting k hey, where's k like they were very supportive that shrug was like that shrug was for me because going into this tournament like i had so much like it's weird it was like there was like a cacophony of bullshit going on like if you guys know like the pdx's like reaction video went up with uh like with other streamers and stuff of his of his run um and i was in that i gave pdx my permission by the way there's no beef between me and pdx like everything i was saying was i don't hate pdx i guess some people had that if you look at the conversation that video is actually fucking awful um but like yeah and so there were people saying all this all types of shit about me i think in i had a few people in my comments saying a few shit about me as well um and just everyone like you, you could never do what he did da, 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 whatever like and all that type of shit going on and when when i because i knew i was capable of this type of shit like i've known for ages um but finally doing it like i was just there like what now you know what i mean i was just like what now what now big man also another thing is what well, the camera did not pick out but when i did win um, when i was having fun with joe and christina i did slap the floor um in 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 what's the words in um in honor of fdx i did slap the floor um um for fdx uh on that one because vdx actually messaged me as well after when he said good shit man um and i said to him i don't know the cameras picked up but i did slap the floor just for you um so yeah that was what happened there but yeah very i was i was happy with the win but i was also even after it's over i was still a bit pissed off because you know we ended up losing and our setup i feel like our setup to win was pretty much golden i think joker could have beaten arslan and I think I could have beaten Artif. And I feel like that was how I went into uh, this event. Was I was calculating finding the 100% victory. Or as close to 100% as possible. And to me that was our setup to be as close to 100% as uh, victory as possible. Against this team. And I think the same thing happened against Japan. Our setup against Japan was supposed to be Gosein for Nobi. Uh, me for Chikorin. And uh, Joker for... Ow. That was supposed to be our setup. It got messed up because Gosein went first because uh, we lost a selector match but i feel like we still could have had me versus chicken and joker versus nobi and i feel like that would have that was that was our secondary plan and at the last moment we kind of deviated away from it and then we ended up losing that one as well um so yeah i just felt like as captain i mean uh, i feel like of uh, both of our losses i kind of put it on me because you know we had plans we didn't stick to it we deviated at the at the end of the day or like for this one i asked and just got in my head and said Atif is going last and he was just telling the truth um so like stuff i i put a pretty much all of our losses on me to be honest um regardless of how things played out you know and it, and even still like i think we all played so well like gosein was this close to beating khan you know Mardukon kind of forgotten realm is a nightmare um and joker was literally one round away from beating Artis of artif as well so it could have been done um and against japan you know gosein came so close to beating al um but then there was the technical break that they had to take um and I, I think my game against Nobi was probably the worst I played the entire tournament. I'll probably do run. I'll probably do reactions for all of those games. Um, I don't know when though, because I'll be leaving for Brussels tomorrow. So I want to make sure I get this video at least for you guys out. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, any questions you have about the set as well or the tournament in general, please let me know. Like I'll try and that will be my best way to communicate with you guys. Like while I'm traveling a lot. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.